Please come to collectibles, and today we're finally looking at Bruh. the Hot Toys 1 6 scale Emperor Palpatine Deluxe figure. Now, oh my god, we've been waiting for this guy after been, it's, it's been delayed from the um, Royal Guard. We've been waiting for him, and then he's been like weirdly delayed for like another week or two, and then all of a sudden, boom, now this box is massive. Um, like I said, check out Big Bad Toy Store. You can grab him, you can nab him, you can have him all for $4 shipped to you. And I think they're sold out actually, but oh my god, this box is huge. Like look at the size of this thing. It's massive. Now it comes in the brown chipper as usual, and um, this is a sleeve over this. This is just a sleeve, and then you just peel the sleeve up. <clears throat> so it looks like a regular Hot Toys box from the outside, like the sleeve does. And then you have the art right here. And then once the sleeve is off, you have the Emperor in his glory sitting like this. Now, before I unbox it and before I get to anything, I'm not sure if this was worth the 330 with shipping and all that um, yet in my mind. I have not opened it at all. I haven't gone through all the stuff and looked through it. I unbox my figures on screen. So um, right here you have Palpatine and his, um, in his deathbed along with his chair. And the deluxe part, that's what it comes with, is this chair. And then you have this on the back, which is the art that we usually get as a, like, kind of a sleeve inside. And then this is the art they put on the back when you uncover um, his sleeve on the outside. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's going to be hard trying to figure out how to open this up um, and neatly do this. So let me do this. I'm just going to do it on camera. Comes out from the top folds down and then you have like one two three layers of clamshell packing in here so let's get this out Woo! so this is heavy um this is a lot of stuff but first what i want to do is get out this old man oh smell of paint and hot toys paint is just amazing oh my god he's ugly what a surprise right so there's palpatine the guy in charge of why star wars is so crooked and so bad and 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 all that oh my god that thing is heavy i don't know why maybe it is worth 330 dollars for plastic but there he is oh my gosh he is ugly they really they really gave him a i love the smell of this they really gave him an old ugly like look if you can get that without it, an overexposure. So that, it's pretty bright, but once you, once I get uh, close into this guy, you'll see. But the robes feel kind of, kind of cheapy. Um, not, I haven't futz with it that much, obviously. I just got it out. Um, so let's just give it some time and let me see how the rest of it turns out. So, get the old man out, get that out, okay. Now we have his cane, Luke's lightsaber. All right, so this is the big part here. Here comes the chair that's wrapped in this foamy protective thing. So the chair is massive. Now the chair is LED lighted. I kind of forgot about that. The chair is LED lighted, so you can light this up. Um, where are the batteries? I don't know. I think it's inside already, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, wow. So the chair, the chair, as you can see, is pretty nice. Um, is it worth $100 more? It, if this was kind of more of a fabric feeling than it is hard plastic, I mean, they kind of did that a little bit, but then it's, I really feel... They kind of like threw in this solidness that will make you justify it for being a hundred dollars extra, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And then here we have all of this force lightning. So I'll get that out and we'll go over that as well. And then we have here his stand, the regular stand that goes with him, um, Emperor Palpatine, which I will probably be using um, his stand rather than um his his chair because his chair just takes up way too much damn space and 
I have to see where to put this guy if I use the chair. Which, if I don't use the chair, hey, easy, why did you waste that much money? Okay, so I just discovered <laughs> when you open the battery pack, this magnificent Hot Toys candy is inside the battery pack rather than uh, uh, the batteries that's supposed to come in it, which it takes uh, two AAAs, which I happen to have here. Hippity day. So two AAAs goes in. So two AAAs goes in and voila, lights. We have lights, there you go. So lighting is only at these little buttons right here, as you can see, right there, there. And as I'm showing you this, I just saw there's a light up top that illuminates him as he sits in his little throne. So these lights and stuff, pretty cool looking. Um, probably not something I would keep displayed lit up because I don't like keeping batteries inside of my figures. But um, as far as what this is for its price tag, it's a lot of stuff that comes with it. A lot of accessories, you get his cane, lightsaber, um, um, a stand, the normal stand, which I'm glad they did that. A, um, his force lightning, um, stuff. 300 some bucks, 30 bucks with shipping. I think if this was more so two, I'll say 280, 270. Because really, guys, this isn't those stormtroopers with the armor. This is literally a guy with some black cloth over him and some pajamas. Really, like, he's just not that much of a figure. So I would say around 280 for the whole deluxe set. And then, like, 199 or 190 for just him alone. Because, like, the Royal Guards, we got Royal Guards at 219, was it? 219 plus shipping and then the stormtroopers that just got released 189 and that's full-on body armor That's a ton of design in there. There's a ton of like You got weathering and the stand and, and, and it comes with the blaster and all that stuff and hands as well So why is the roll guard 219 and then the stormtrooper was is coming out at 189? It just doesn't make sense. And then you add in an LED base, and that's a 243, which just kind of throws my brain off. And I, I don't know. Let's get behind the figure and get a review on this guy and really look into depth in this because this is a figure that was controversial to me and some of you guys, some of you folk. So I want to go through it and look at him real closely and see what really I have to say about him because I love the, the total idea and theory behind everything i love it it's great the light up the chair your your cane your everything it's great but the price tag is what justifies things for me and i'm not too sure on that just yet so let's get into the figure review Alrighty, now we're back behind a figure and all right before i go through anything my verdict on spending 330 some dollars on this shipped I thought about it I had to take a break after opening it because of dinner too and well I don't really think it's worth it you guys if I've had the option to know that this is what I'm getting into I probably would have gone with the um, no chair no deluxe because this thing is abnormally huge number one it won't fit that well in my detail the way I set up some way, if you have this one with uh, two world guards at the back, and somehow it'll work. But just to me, it doesn't work. I don't like it, the, the cost of it, because it just doesn't justify the cost. Now, for two, uh, I think 219 it was going for, for the single figure alone, that, <coughs> that would have been just fine. It's a little bit pricey for a guy in robes, but to me, um, it's fine. They can, they, they, that's one they can get away with it with me. Now, with this, with the chair and the cost, like, the thing that's killing me right now is just the cost. The cost is what makes this uh, a make-or-break kind of a figure. It's a guy in robes with a big plastic chair. It's It's got that thing, I don't know what they put inside of it, but they've made it so that you can't say, oh, it's a hollow piece of plastic. It is plastic, but they've put some type of uh, insulation or something inside that doesn't knock. 
like a uh, hollow plastic, but it is a I mean, it's it's a cheap plastic. I mean, uh, who knows? It's a high quality plastic. Who knows? But I, it just feels like regular old plastic. Now, um, the stuff it comes with is nice. I like the cane. I like the um, force effects, um, force lightning effects that it comes with. Very nice and very well made. Uh, the colors you can see is a nice nice way to portray the light force lightning. Um, uh, now, let's let's I don't know where to start. So, uh, it comes with the um, Luke lightsaber, which I'm pretty sure goes in somewheres. Okay, so I don't know where the lightsaber actually go. I, I don't know if it. I I think I remember in the photos it was like inside, somehow like this or, or I don't know where where it was. You guys t comment down below and just tell me if that it goes anywhere. But like I said, the stand um, it's your practical or, or a typical um, Star Wars um, hot toy stand. Love the rectangular bases. I'm glad they're keeping up with the um, plaques like this. I know in the Iron Man series, even the die cast ones, they've stopped putting the. Um, uh, like a, uh, the die cast um, cut, the die cut ones like this, the metal, it's just plastic with a print on it, I don't like that I like these, um, I like these rectangular bases they've been doing, now these little cards they give to give that effect of whichever spot they were in, like say the Death Star or wherever um, the figure was, so th I like these stands, it's great it's pretty much what you would get if you would have paid just retail um only for this guy is just the stand and um probably these lightning effects and his hands and the cane as well no lightsaber so the only thing deluxe about this is probably the lightsaber and this uh chair which i don't know hundred dollars more is just a little bit uh eh, kind of and here we have the here we have his hands his old crinkly hands um basically just a bunch of w weird hands he would have if you can see that detail in his fingernails and how nasty they made them I mean, they made his, like, nails weirdly, um, kind of, like, creepy, I would say. Like, this old man creepy nails, and, like, he's been picking at something a real long time. So, as you can see, there's, like, little cracks in his nails. Nice job with that. It looks, look, actually looks like a real hand, like a real wrinkly old dude's hand. It's nasty. I love it. I love old dudes and hot toys. Anyway, there's another one, and that's the last of the hands. And now let's get to the, uh, a figure. Oh, and before I move on to the figure, the cane. Um, the cane is nice and shiny. It serves its purpose. It looks real nice with the figure. Um, helps him stand, although he probably doesn't need it. Um, I think this is really, a really, really shiny uh, cane. I don't know if this was how it was in the movie, but that's that. So there is Palpatine all in his glory. Um, it's like I just, like I keep saying, it's just a guy in a, in a hood. Um, the, 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 the sculpt is amazing. I like the uh, sculpt. The sculpt is amazing. The the details on the hands, and and the embroidery is very nicely done. Um, I feel like his um, robes is a bit, I would want to say thick, for what he is. Um, it's, I don't. I feel like it it could have been more flowy with a different type of fabric. They use some fabric that just to me it feels it feels really cheap on the outside kind of i don't know but the inside has this nice kind of a like a i don't know what you call this material it's like a silky um plastic material and then the inside of his robes as you can see is a more of a microfiber type cloth robes it's like sith robes i guess you would have them underneath looks like a um a night dress or a pajama set but um let's turn them around and in the back there's pretty much nothing. Uh, all you're getting here is just the um, the black robes, which I said, if if this guy was, I would say like 190 ish, that would have been good. I would have paid that like and happily paid it. But this guy is kind of high for what he is. I mean, I think Hot Toys it's like a hit or miss. Like sometimes you get like really good pricing, and then sometimes you get really bad. Like I said about the Stormtrooper. Um, but anyway, let's zoom in on his face and go over some of the head sculpt details. So let's darken this up so we can get some details out of him. And as you can see, there he is. I'm gonna pull his, I'm gonna pull his hood back so you can see it. Now the hood is um, wired. I th it's I feel like it's wired or something. Very thin wires because you can form this however which way you want. But of course we gotta have the hood on. It's, it's the emperor. So there he is without his hood. Um, 
Very, 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 very creepy looking guy. Um, they did a really good head sculpt um, on this on the Emperor. It's just amazing. And if you're wondering about the plastic, I, it's, it's just to keep the um, fabrics from um, wearing off onto the uh, the figure itself during shipping and stuff like that. You just pop off the head and that comes off easily. But uh, small details on his face and all that head, it's just amazing. I love the details they did. It just completely captures the image of this dark mystery man, this hooded, evil, whatever that is. But it just it just captures Palpatine in his in his wretched, ugly days of being an ass. It just really captures that. I love it. And the hair sculpt. I love sculpted hair. Um on most figures so this one is a definite great one i love the way they sculpted the hair on um han solo uh new hope stormtrooper which was really really awesome but as you can see those sith eyes and 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 just the the really serene smile he has they capture that real nice now most figures you don't get that great of a a look when you have their mouths open because it kind of locks them into a certain attitude or expression in in any type of display you put them in but this guy Emperor Palpatine this is perfect I mean I'm gonna have this guy on his stand with his cane and his hood over him very very like haunting like old man this is gonna be this is like one of the scary pieces you would have in your collection like so if you have it oh my god here we go here we go like this is what's great about the um wiring or whatever kind of a thing they have in these in in the hoods it really it really gives you that great capture it lets you really pose these figures really the way you want and that's probably the most exciting part about this figure is this head sculpt everybody's we've been waiting for palpatine for so long and there he is and just amazing now here i'm gonna go back down zoom out a little bit and that's how i'm gonna have him and also, what's cane? Let's put his cane in there. Bam, pimp daddy. Pimp daddy Palpatine. So there he is with his chair in the back. Now, I don't know if you guys can capture uh, or get him posed with his chair uh, in your display cases, but I, I just can't. And it's so funny because this pale old dude is so paley and so sithly that um does these have wires okay so these do have wires as well his little hands uh cl that goes to, or his clothing that goes down to his hands also has wires and they've bunched up right here purposely to capture that effect of his robes which is awesome that they added wiring in here too so when I mean, you start to see where um certain aspects of 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 cost come in like um well, as I was saying, you can see that paleness because I just I can't adjust the exposure because his, his, it just shows so much white on his face because he's so pale. But as you guys can see, um, that this little cost is where the wiring is at, the, 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 the tailoring and all this kind of stuff. That's what justifies the price at him being 219 And then a little bit of stuff here and there, the sculpt. Yeah, it's fine, but like I said, 330 and some for shipped for this uh, chair and a lightsaber hilt that we already have from the Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi is a bit much. I think this guy would have been 280, got away with 290 um, in a deluxe, but not not what they were asking at retail. Um, I believe this thing is going to go go down in price pretty cheaply and one thing i didn't uh, i almost missed out was his feet um as you can see he's got these brown um suede type um boots so these are nice i love these and articulation i, I don't show much of articulation on my videos but don't get me wrong these figures articulate awesome it's 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 hot toys so articulation and obviously no armor because it's palpatine and no armor so you're not going to get any hindrance you can articulate this guy like a spider-man figure i mean just because he's an old dude doesn't mean he can't do new generation things guys come on now he's palpatine he can like he can like what do you call that like twister circle swing his lightsaber at your face and get away with it now some people said why didn't he come with a lightsaber um just for funsies i guess 
this guy never really had a lightsaber in the old trilogy. He never showed anything of a lightsaber. So Hot Toys being their movie masterpiece, they're not going to include something that like the roll guards in Legends or Canon had like super sick looking armor under them. And when you got your Hot Toys, it's like, but wait, I didn't get the uh, armor underneath the robes. And well, that's Hot Toys being Hot Toys and being a movie masterpiece. They're going to capture the movie and not the legend or not just because it's cool. They're going to be as accurate and, 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 and do their jobs and be as accurate to the movie. So that's one thing. And like I said, this figure is, is a good figure. It's just that the price. It's just that the price is what makes it not justifiable for me or to some other people. Although I do, I did get it. I did order this. And if I would have known... It's cool at first. Don't get me wrong. This this thing is cool at first. Um, I didn't go over his chair actually, but this thing is cool at first. It's it's nice. It swivels and on on just like a regular chair, and it's it's cool at first. It has this nice metallic paint on it and whatnot. It has the lights and it looks pretty and stuff like that. There's the um, switch down below, as you can see the battery compartment, and then there's lights up there too. And, um, it's nice. And then it just starts to get boring because you realize you can't have it in your display or for some other reason. Some other. Now, some people may love it. Some people may say, hey, you're an idiot. You, you, you're you just bashing on this thing because you don't think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Everybody has their own opinion. This is my channel. Go make a channel if you want. Don't get mad at me in the comment section. But this thing, I just, I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, it's something I could have lived without and saved a bunch of money and put towards my next figure instead of um, putting this back in the box. But this this Palpatine figure is a definitely a definite buy because it's just an amazing piece. It just looks amazing. So if I missed anything or you guys want to talk about something, do talk about it in the comments down below. Um, I want to see what you guys think about this one. To me, this one's controversial um, as to what this guy is like what you guys had expected from um, this. Um, what kind of uh, figure did you want? Um, is this something that you thought like it exceeded you your expectations or achieved it? Uh, I want to know because I want to see and talk with you guys and, and really understand like what did Hot Toys do right? Uh, but this deluxe version is the main con is the price and that's that's really killing it for me it's 6.5 to 7 out of 10 for this deluxe version but I mean take out the pricing take out everything that contern contains the price this thing is awesome this thing is a 10 out of 10 don't get me wrong um, the only thing I don't like which I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10 but uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the quality of this um fabric i don't know if i don't know maybe they i i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about sometimes because hot toys knows what they're doing they know what works best i mean they think about these things they think about it twenty five thousand times more than i did so maybe it's the right fabric but i just feel like it's a little bit cheapy it, I, I don't know i just feel like it's a bit cheapy it's more of a mesh material it's very meshy um but 
once you fix it, fix it up, you can get it looking like a great, great looking Palpatine. I mean, let's make Palpatine great again, guys. So uh, if you want to rant about it like I do, go ahead in the comments and let me know. So see you guys later and hope you enjoy the review. Um, stick around for more. What's next on the Hot Toys boat? Um, what's coming up? What's coming up? What's coming up? Nothing else coming up in the near future. I'm going to have to get some more random Hot Toys for you guys. Tell me what you guys want to see. Tell me. Come on. In the comments. Mm -hmm. Kissy, kissy. Why do I always kissy? Anyway, okay, bye.